I just I do want to actually take a moment and think about those character flaws because it's extremely important that all of us in this room can can see these behaviors, these character flaws, if you will, in our team members, and if not in our team members, within our church. We need to know which guy is likely to insert himself into a situation when the safety team has it under control. So let's look at that first usher and the pastor that made that additional approach as if they were the safety team. They tried to de-escalate the situation. Um, doesn't seem like they were very successful, but they were smart enough to say we're backing away from this. This is not worth the fighting. You know, I can just imagine that usher and that pastor looking at each other. This is not worth over a seat. It's not worth it. Yeah. So they back away, give the guy some time to cool off. He's going to sit in the chair that he's sitting in. It's not worth dying over, quite literally, and then be done with it. But now this other guy sees it, and now he thinks he needs to be the hero. You know, a lot of times when vigilante justice occurs is when they perceive that the the that law enforcement or the justice system failed them. That's when vigilanteism goes up. And so here's a guy, theoretically, you know, that's observing this. He sees that, hey, the pastor tried to talk to him, the usher tried to talk to him, and um, and he just shouted them away and they went away. Now it's my turn. Dun da da. I'm armed with my tin badge, I'm armed with my gun. And I'm going to make a difference here. So there's a mentality there. And we need, need to be able to pick out those that mentality. 